This is the first chapter of Word. It's Project 1A, and I'm on page 123. I've already started Word and have a blank document, so uh, the other two things they want you to do on number one are check to make sure that the Show Hide button is selected, and it is, and they also want you to go to the View tab here and check to make sure that the Ruler checkbox is turned on. Now, there's a Developer tab here that I've got on mine that you don't have on yours, but otherwise, uh, everything should look pretty much the same. So I want to type in a little bit of text here on number two, internships, and I didn't get the shift key on available, so I want to make that available, capital A, and then hit enter, and twice, and then uh, this summer, Okay, so I've got all that typed in, and press enter when you get to the end of that, and now let's compare this with what they have in the book, and it looks exactly what they have in, uh, on the top of page 124. And now, so we don't have to type everything else, we're going to insert some text. So click on the insert tab here, go to the text group here, and go to object and do text from file. And we want to go to our desktop, we want to go to the CSC 110 folder, and we kind of want to go to W01 student data files, and we want to insert this file here, W01A text.docx. Go ahead and insert that. And now we've got the text in our document. And we want to go to our quick access toolbar, and we want to save that. So click on the save icon here. And I've already played with this a little bit before, so I've already got a file out there with the right name. I'm just going to write over it. It'll warn me, and I'll say, yes, go ahead. Uh, you probably will not get that when you do it. Now, we are on objective number two on page 125. And I want to click on this paragraph right here. And I want to go to the Home tab, and I want to go to the Font group. And I want to click on this Text Effects and Typography. And it says, uh, in the third row, point to the first effect. So that would be this one right here. And uh, change the font size, which is this box up here, to 52. Well, 52 is not an option, so I just have to type it in myself and hit Enter. And then I want to center the text. Now, it's not going to move very much at all because it pretty much fills the whole width of the paper anyway, but it does slide over just a small fraction of an inch. Okay, now we are on top of page 126. And with the text still selected and it is, I want to go to Type Effects and Typography and point to Shadow. I'm going to give it this stuff the Shadow. And Outer. And I want uh, the third style in the second row, which is offset left. And that gives me the shadow to the left of my text. And now in number six, with the text still selected in the font group, click the font color button. And the color I want to make this is orange accent two, which is this one right here. And then I want to save it. It says click in where to deselect your text. Okay, now I want to insert a picture. Uh, I want to position the insertion point right here at the beginning of the first paragraph of the document. And then I want to go to Insert again. This time I'm going to insert Pictures, though. Pictures means on your own computer here. And I want to go to my desktop, and I want to go to this. And the picture is a picture of a bird. And click on Insert. And that's what I get. OK. Now I want to do some formatting of this picture here. And I've got some layout options that always pop up when you insert a picture. Let's click on that. And um, in this group here, I want to pick the one labeled square. So click on square. And you notice that brings the text up 
to the right. And now, and also notice there's a little anchor right here that shows you that the picture is anchored to this paragraph right here. Okay, and now um, shows us how to resize the picture. And they say go to the corner here. If you go to the corner and you click and drag, uh, it preserves the aspect ratio of the picture so you don't end up with a really fat or skinny bird. So you normally want to drag from the handles. And now what I want to do here is uh, I'm on number two on page 128. Um, I want to go until, grab this corner again, I want to go until I'm near about the four inch mark over here on the left. And apparently when he did it, um, he made sure that all of the text over here was on the right side. So. That's what your document should look like. And now I want to change the size of the picture. So make sure the picture is selected. It'll have the handles around it. We'll see picture tools up here. And on the format tab here, I want to go to size group. And I want to make the height of that 3.8 inches. So let's just bounce on the up arrow here a few times. A few times too many. And um, as you adjust the height, the width automatically adjusts to preserve the aspect ratio and now it's the size we want it to be and if I look down here and compare this with the picture on the top of page 129 they look pretty much identical so let's save our work and now our activity 1.07 is moving the picture there are two ways to move it you can just drag it um, you can also change the settings in the dialog box and that's what they're going to do which is something I think you probably will never do, but we'll go through it. Uh, on the layout ribbon, click the Format tab, and right here. And in the Arrange group, click Position. And um, we want more options here for Position. And in the Layout dialog box, be sure the Position tab is selected, which it is. And under Horizontal, click the Alignment button. Here's the horizontal. Here's the alignment button. And to the right, click the down arrow. And I want this to be aligned on the right, so click on the down arrow here and choose right. And I want that relative to the margin. So I want on the right edge of the margin, which you Put its right edge right here. And for vertical alignment, I want um, it to be aligned to the top line of the text. Um, so I want to choose relative to line. And it should look like figure 1.11 on the bottom of page 129. Okay, now let's go to page 130, and we're on item number four. And uh, it just says uh, click on OK here and save our work. Now we're on activity 1.08 on page 130, and I want to make sure my picture is selected again. And uh, on the format tab in the picture styles group, click picture effects. So in the picture styles group, click on picture effects here. And uh, we want soft edges. And I want their size to be five points. So that gives me some soft edges here. And save our change. And now we do some artistic effects. Uh, again, make sure the picture is selected, go to format, and go to artistic effects here. And it does do a live preview of what your document would look like if we applied this particular effect. And I think the one we want is first row, I'm sorry, second row, I'm on the top of page 131 now, item number three. Um, second row, third effect, which is paintbrush. And if I click on that and you notice the picture kind of jumps and changes a little bit there. And now I want to add a border. Let's save it first. Now I want to add a border 
So let's go to um, Design tab and got to click off the picture first. Then go to the Design tab and then click on Page Border over here on the right. And I want a box. Here's a little preview. There's nothing right now. That's the default. Click on Box. And then I want to go to um, Under Style here. I want the seventh one. Two, three, four, five, seven. Right there. Now give me a double line around my page and I want um, the color of that line to be orange accent 2. I want to make sure it's applied to the whole document and click on OK and click on Save. And press Control Home to get this out of order a little bit but it shouldn't matter. And put the cursor at the top of your document. And that's probably a good place to stop this video. We've been going about 17 minutes.